Planet Zoo Twilight Pack has been released and included in the new pack is a new animal, the Fruit Bat. So in this video, I'm going to create an Avery style enclosure for them. So to begin with, obviously we had to start with the new walkthrough exhibit building. Now as you can see, this is a solid building, but you can do some interesting stuff with this. So if I just go into here now, this menu, and go to these drop down menus, you can see I can turn these side panels either solid, glass, or mesh, or totally empty. Um, this is what it looks like. Mesh, I'll just show you quickly what it looks like in glass. So that's what it would look like glass kind of like a dome so we can have an aviary we can have a dome but for the purpose of this video i'm going to leave everything blank and then create my own custom aviary let's do this shall we first thing we needed to do was obviously well uh, the first thing i did was actually keep the mesh side pieces so i could just align my own custom mesh side pieces so know that the bats can have full range of motion and in there and they can fly wherever and they won't be restricted by um, size requirements. So I get that in there. So this simple, I just create the same mesh as what the fence is with the mesh pieces. Add a little, I think this is the marquee um, metal pieces released in the Euro pack. I just bang them around, give it a little bit of a, a more solid look kind of thing. And then, yeah, duplicate that over. And then once that's duplicated over, it's very easy. I've turned the mesh side pieces off now because I didn't want it to be square. I wanted it to be kind of round slash pointed. Um, I'm sure you get understand where I'm coming from. See a lot of these aviaries in zoo. This is actually quite a realistic habitat for the fruit bat, actually. Um, so, yeah, that's basically the basics of that completed. It was time to create kind of like the indoor area, the area where our guests are going to go in and then go into the actual aviary itself. And while I'm creating that, talk to me about the, the Planet Zoo Twilight Pack. Are you enjoying it? Have you got it? For starters, leave a comment down below. What's your favorite animal? Um, and you, guess what? The, they've added flying mechanics, haven't they? We know that they've got them now. So, next DLC, birds maybe? parrots i don't know it's going to be something flying it's got to be now we know they can add flying mechanics now we've got the um the fruit bat um yeah so very excited that they've added that and i did actually predict it as well if you've not seen that video then go and see that video it's things i would change about planet zoo i think the video is called yeah and i mentioned flying mechanics but yeah we've got flying mechanics we've got fruit bats and i was very excited to create this habitat actually but it's not a habitat it's an exhibit in it but it's a large exhibit what for exhibit so we can call it habitat i, I suppose see so these wood pieces i don't actually end up using you can see me just deleting that was just trying to get the foundation of how i wanted the the main building to look really so get rid of them and then get the plaster pieces in you know me i lo you love 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 using the plaster pieces i just feel like they're just so versatile and they can, you can create anything with them once the plaster pieces are inside and on, in place it looks something like this then it was time for a bit of decorations which I added these wood pieces which is one of the new wood pieces in the twilight pack actually just on the outside and then the supporting beams what will end up holding the roof to create this wood piece it was quite simple they just got the wood pieces obviously and then just made a simple square you can see me just lining them up here um they're good these wood pieces but they just weren't thick enough i wanted more kind of like a supportive structured beam so yeah i just duplicated them over made it into a nice little square and there you go you've got a supportive beam and then once them was in place you can see i've just added some tiling at the bottom there and added some lights into the beams obviously they will light up the lights and with that look complete and I knew how I wanted the side of the building looking, it was time to move on to the roof, which was a little bit of a pain in the ass. I wanted to create a custom roof using the pieces. I tend to do this a lot in my creations. I don't know if you are watching do this, but I tend to try to use the same pieces or at least the same colour scheme throughout the build. I just think everything just looks and flows better. Um, it kind of gives this creation a bit of a Japanese look, which I wasn't going for, and which I wasn't happy about. So I do end up changing the colour of the plaster pieces and, and dull it down a little bit because I didn't want that kind of look. I don't know how it ended up coming, but um, I don't know if you'll agree with me. Let me know if you do agree with me. By the way, anything I, could, I create, including this, will be on my Steam Workshop page. Link in the description if you want to have it in your own zoo. It will be on there, I promise. Um, yeah, just finishing things off now, little detailing, finishing these wood pieces, adding them to the actual Avery itself, adding them to 
of the custom roof at the bottom and then it came out looking like this which i was quite happy about and this is the foundation complete now this is pretty much everything complete i'm going to take you in for a closer look now and just and then I'll, I'll add a little bit more changes and then i'll bring you back so what i did on the inside you can see these circles these will be windows to, from interior to exterior added a load of foliage now these backdrops you can get them they are on the steam workshop they are mine um, i created them and look something like this so yeah there's a couple of um, backdrops you can choose from and then after I put the backdrops in and added a load of foliage, it's time to add the exit, or I suppose it could be the entrance, but I'm counting it as the exit. Just created a little mesh box, which kind of like separates the Avery from the outside. I added this door because I just think it looked really well, and it probably would be the kind of door you would have on a, an Avery style exit like this. And then it was time for the, the pain, the pain of getting the mesh pieces to cover this area i tried with the big pieces and they just overlapped too much i tried with the little pieces and i couldn't fit them and i just had to do it step by step patience and perseverance is what i always say with planet zoo and and that's what i did i just added the pieces moved them adjusted on making making sure those all lined up yeah we did have some what was overlapping and diagonal but from afar you can't really tell these little imperfections and as a whole i'm really happy with this creation once that was complete, it was time to go onto the interior and I did exactly the same what I did with the exterior. It created like this cave kind of looked like the, our guests were going into a cave to be able to view the, um, obviously they've got two options to view the bats. They've got this um, inside area here and then they can actually walk through the habitat. But I wanted it to be like a kind of like a cave area. You could just see me adding the floor here, adding the path. If you don't know how to do this, you just raise the floor a little bit above and then you can just place a path underneath and your guests will walk on it. Um, yeah, and I'm just loving these backdrops, honestly. It, I got a lot of praise for these backdrops on Reddit, and it's got quite a lot of downloads on the old Steam Workshop page, and I can see why now I've actually started using my own backdrops. But yeah, backdrops on the inside, backdrops on the outside, and then it was time to add the last little bit, that being kind of like a little decal um, scene. I wanted like the bat like it was in the stages of taking off from, from stationary to flight. Um, added some little rocks and these lovely little decals were also are in the twilight pack i do end up recolouring them as well and it comes out looking pretty damn good if i do say it so myself now if we're going to come to the end now and i'll give you a little run through of how everything looks but yeah i won't be talking from now on so if you did like this video then like the video if you're new around here subscribe my name's adam enjoy this little cinematic at the end and i will catch you in the next planet 2 video